question is, is Cody Rhodes going to finally finish his story? Is he going to finish the story? Is he going to get the job done? Or is he going to get got? I don't know. I would like to think after last year, they're actually going to do the right thing and have Cody Rhodes be the guy that beats the guy. But with the way WWE is, and it's not a bad thing, it's just the way it is, you don't really have any clue what they're going to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if Roman Reigns continues to reign supreme and the Tribal Chief continues to be Tribal in Chiefin. Unless The Rock obviously has some shenanigans to play. Because every time he raises that finger up, it seems like there's a little bit of a lilt on it. And it looks like an L to me. So I'm sensing potentially, out of nowhere, there might be a rock bottom slammed on uh, his little cousin. But I'm still catching up on WWE. I'm not ready for WrestleMania. WrestleMania this weekend. I'm still not there. So, touch wood. I'll get through all of it by the time Saturday comes around. Otherwise, I just won't have full context. And in that case, you're not really going to understand what's going on. You're not going to believe the storylines. You're not going to really feel the energy if you're not with the story. So get with the story, boys. I was going to say get the memo. Is it get with the memo? I am so sleep deprived. I don't know. But we've got to do fact of the day, guys. That's just how it goes. Page number 146, fact number three. Melbourne used to be called Batmania. Wow. I mean, remember, the Elimination Chamber this year was in Australia. It was there. And Batmania, Wrestlemania, Batmania, Wrestlemania, it seems like it was meant to be. So enjoy Wrestlemania. Two days of bombastic, complete fun. People jumping off walls. People jumping off posts. People jumping off tables. So... Make sure you're there, be there, or be square. You don't want to be square in a circle, you want to be circling a square. Wow.